I think that the opioid epidemic is certainly a big part of the increase in panhandling. With more people now hitting you up for money, the city tries to hold down panhandling and help the truly needy. Good evening, I'm Paula Todi. I'm Rob Braun. Two of the most annoying words you may hear are these. Spare change. So how can you tell who truly needs a helping hand and who just wants money for drugs? Well, because you really can't tell, the city is trying to do something. Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us live from a location with frequent panhandling, the I-71 interchange at Reading Road. Know it very well, Jeff. Yeah, you know, if you drive by here like we do, because it's right near the station, you see a lot of panhandlers. Of course, it figures when I'm doing a story down here, there's nobody here. They were here earlier in the day. But you know, there's nobody here right now. But trust me, they are here a lot. In fact, it seems like they're just about everywhere. If you work, shop, or just visit downtown Cincinnati or over the Rhine, there's a good chance you'll see someone like Tabby Sanders. We need money to get food to get survive. I'm sorry, what? To survive. So we need it. So we try to make a little money to make um, get food. Experts who study the issue say panhandling is on the rise, but you don't have to be an expert. You just have to walk through town. It's every day. It's every day. There are some across the street all the time. Uh, any of the streets are just filled with various types of people begging for money or begging for some type of service. There's not much the city can do to stop it. As long as it's not aggressive, pushy panhandling, begging is protected by the First Amendment. So with that in mind, the city and various agencies are working on options. Coming soon, donation boxes where people can put money for social service agencies, which help the homeless. Links on parking apps to donate that way. And another outreach worker who tries to connect the homeless with jobs and services. One big issue helping those who truly have no place to live. Most panhandlers are not really homeless. Very often what a panhandler says or what their sign says is really targeted to increase the amount of money that they receive. It is not necessarily the truth. So very frequently people will represent themselves as being homeless, being a veteran, having just lost a job, different things like that, when none of those things may be true. Finn says panhandlers can make $25 to $30 a day. Tabby Sanders says she makes 5 or 10 some people's nice, some people's rude, but you always get dirty looks. You always get told to get a job. Sanders is not homeless. She's staying with her sister. Sanders says she has anxiety issues preventing her from working right now. I don't do no type of drugs. I try to help out with my family. But others do drugs, and your well-intentioned here's a dollar could be deadly. If you give somebody the ability to go buy heroin, that literally could be their last dose. That could be the dose that they overdose on. That could be what kills them. Downtown Cincinnati Incorporated says there are 15 to 20 panhandlers and or homeless people. Uh, you don't know which is which. Downtown on any given day, I, honestly, I would have thought it was a lot more, but they're concentrated in areas where you go. And of course, that's just the central business district. I'm not in the central business district right now. There are some here. There's some in over the Rhine. I know I see them when I go home at Galbraith and Vine. So you know, it, it's a problem. It seems, and I'm, I'm kidding here, but not really. It seems that at almost every interchange, you see motels, fast food restaurants, and panhandlers. So it is definitely a big problem. Live at Reading and 71, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. No, you're right. Thank you, Jeff. And while panhandling is on the rise, the number of homeless on the streets in Cincinnati is actually down just a bit. Strategies to End Homelessness says there are about 1,100 individuals last year. That's total, not all at once. The average person experiencing homelessness does so for about 30 to 40